Okay, let's get started at the top. Barbara, welcome to the program. Hi, Dr. Laura. Thank you for taking my call. Um, Hi. I guess, um, so I am 64. I'm newly married two years now. I've been single for 25. I have a grown son who's 34, and I stayed single uh, to raise him. So in this new marriage, I married a man who's about 10 and a half years older than me. He's, um, he just turned, I just turned 64 and he's turning 75 in March. He has two adult children. One's 38. The other one is, I think, 46. Uh, the 46 year old is a male. He's got a family of his own and, uh, he's a wonderful individual. The family is great. Uh, his daughter, um, has trouble accepting the second marriage. So it's, I'm not sure how to navigate through that. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Leave her alone. Have your husband take her to dinners, lunch. Have your husband call her and be invested. She's worried about her, you know, how much attention she's now, whatever's changed, and the money in the future, or if he dies. She's got all kinds of things on her mind. Just stay out of her way. Okay. Uh, Yeah, so when we're at family functions... uh, you know, she she speaks to her father, and that's I right. right next Stay to out of her way. Stay out of her way. She has no interest in you. She okay. never wanted a you. Right. The guy, like most guys, doesn't care. He's got his own family, his life. He's older. He doesn't care. Girls are different, right. as you know. So just stay out of her yeah. way. When you go to family events and they're talking to each other, go talk to somebody else. Okay. My, I I have another, uh, it, it, it's, it's very related. It's a, it's a situation of for Thanksgiving, I was over at his sister-in-law's home and she dedicated uh, the prayers before Thanksgiving meal and she brought up my husband's deceased wife and I just, that was totally, I was taken by surprise. I How long was he married to her? 43 years. That's why she was mentioned at Thanksgiving. Okay. So she was in a ma'am. Ma'am, see, you women who get married into these situations have expectations that there was something gets erased. Everything before you gets erased. It doesn't. They all had close relationships with her for 43 years. That's it. Right. Yeah. You married you married him. That doesn't yeah. give you entrance into an extended family necessarily. Ah. Uh, very interesting. Okay, um that I can accept. That's that's fine. So um, enjoy him. Enjoy yeah. him. I I certainly do. So okay, Good. thank you very much. So don't complain to him about it. Don't point these things out. Let them go past you as though they're just a breeze. That's it. Leave it all alone. You married him. If you have any expectations of how everybody else is supposed to get in the game, ain't necessarily so. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy him. Enjoy Enjoy him. Hi. My number, 1-800-375-2872.